On the right of the steering wheel are the controls for the dashboard display, which let you scroll around the different menus. When you first start, press this left button at 9 o'clock and it will bring up the main menu with four different sub-menus. You can work around these menus using the arrow buttons. Pressing the left button always takes you back to the main menu, so you can easily switch between them. The only modes you can select on the move are the up option with this road symbol for information about the trip, and the right 3 o'clock option, which shows you different gauges, such as air pressure. Going into the top menu, the one with the road symbol, brings up the speeds you've set for active prediction, the clever Scania cruise control which makes hill driving much more fuel efficient. Now this is the subject of a separate video which can be found in the additional information section of this app, but do note that you will need an internet connection to watch the video. This screen is showing the speeds which have been set for the Active Prediction Cruise Control. Pressing the down arrow in this menu shows you information about the current trip. It shows the total miles driven, the average speed and average fuel consumption. Pressing the down arrow again shows the total time and the total time spent idling, which you obviously want to be as low as possible. Press down again and you get the fuel consumed this trip and the amount used with the engine idling. Down again takes you to the driving tips, which once again is the subject of a separate video in the additional information section, and you'll need an internet connection to view it. This is the average score screen for the driving tips. Down again and it shows the separate areas of hill score, anticipation and the gear change score. Finally, one more click down takes us to a repeat of what's currently logged on the tachograph. So, if you want a quick check of how long you've got to go before you need to take a break, glance at this display rather than looking up and playing with the buttons on the tachograph itself. Press that left 9 o'clock button again for the main menu and then the option on the right with the dial symbol. That's for gauges, starting with the air pressure gauges. Then the down button takes you through instant fuel consumption, turbocharger pressure, battery voltage, engine oil pressure, and that very important AdBlue level gauge. And as you can see, this one needs filling up.